Have you done the look up? Look at, look at Mario looking up, though. It's, it's cute. Yeah, I mean, if you really look at it, though, it kind of looks like there's some growth out of his head. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so so tech stuff's good. We're we're good. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome everyone. Episode two of Invictus. This guy just won't leave my house. It's no, it's fine. I, I live here. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm I'm not being held hostage until I can beat the game. Um, so I'm not going to explain the custom mechanic in this level because it's going to make itself. I pretty believe apparent. it's keys. Uh, the room, is, the level is called One by One. That was a failed gel jump. Um, oh, buddy. <laughs> in previous run-throughs of this game, because I've, I've done some some speed running of this, uh, uh, this level is kind of my nemesis, usually. So I'm sure now that, you know, the pressure's off, I'll probably just nail it. But, you know, that is what it is. Well, as you just saw, that guy was a football player. He was. Right before the undefined sports game of the year. I still think the level is keys. Sure. It might make me dumb, but... Oh. Uh, What's the mini tube for? Uh, just flavor. Making making the level look cool. I don't know, man. That's it. I mean, like... This 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 hack is just really... The, the creator put a lot of great work into it. It's super polished. There's a reason it is as well regarded as it is. Sorry, I'm just taking a minute to drink this refreshing Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, please sponsor us. As you well know, there's nothing better than a cold refreshing Coke. There's nothing better than waking up than Coca-Cola in your cup now. I have heard that on all of the Coca-Cola commercials. Yes, that, that is a Coca-Cola ad. Also, where's the Coca-Cola? <laughs> you hijacked my bit. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm the most interesting man in the world. I drink Coca-Cola. Oh, you don't fact. always. You don't always drink soda, but when you do. Fun fact, this is actually made by Pepsi. This is the limited edition Coke Pepsi. In case you didn't know, there was a limited run where they did a Marvel's DC style team up and kind of combined their formulas back in the early 90s. Man, capitalism is crazy. Yeah, man, they uh, it failed miserably because obviously it oh. tastes like hot garbage, but nothing's too good for our fans. You know, yourself, don't, don't do a re grab off that red Koopa. Uh, do you remember the Super Mario World mechanics at all? Do you want me to, like, give you the rundown again? No, I'm cool. I assume it's jump, do, butt stuff, mm, and... It's a little bit more involved than that. KB. Uh, I think just, you know, maybe maybe someone's watching for the first time. Um, Super Mario World is great for making custom games out of because the player has an incredible amount of control over Mario. Um, pretty much any time you're holding jump, uh, even if it's, you know, on the way down from a jump, um, Mario falls slower, so that gives you, the player, a lot of ways to uh, particularly handle Mario. So he falls slow? Yeah, a little bit. And you can also, you know, intentionally let go at a certain point to get the right height for the jump, but then re-grab to uh, slow your jump back down to kind of give you a longer, wider jump arc. So, oh, man. that's all fine and good. But I'm convinced you're a witch. Uh, sure. Because you are not bad at this. Yeah, or I've just played it a couple of times. Or you're a witch. People have been being accused of witches for a long time and for a lot less. That's true. And maybe maybe we just need to stop doing that, people. I mean, I suppose. I mean, the criteria basically indicate that all trees and bits of wood are witches, so maybe that's a little bit antiquated. <laughs> also does. That's true. That's why there's a Fairly Odd Parents episode where they actually burn a piece Hold of wood at the stake. Oh, okay. One of the hardest jumps in the game. And they just there. put a hat on a duck. <laughs> You're a witch, too. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna love the last room of this level, by the way. Look what matters now. Checkpoints. Oh yeah, but you can't actually not get that checkpoint. 
the, the jump off the platform underneath, actually. I don't know if there's a way to not hit the checkpoint from there. I'll and still make that jump. Really? Wow. I noticed that they have a limitless supply of football players to murder. Yep. Oh, go sports. <laughs> I believe in you. Yeah, this one's a little bit tricky. It's just a little bit of finesse involved. Um, the th the second room here is actually kind of free. All you do is jump on this pipe and follow it down, and then jump off the shell the second time you get it. You just reminded me, because I was thinking, man, we play video games real different in the fact that I suck at them and you practice them. Uh, to be fair, this type of game... Oh, yeah, this is the last room. I like it. Uh, people call it the clock rooms. I have no idea why. Oh my god, I bonked. I don't know, dude. I only know digital. But, um, you reminded me what other game I just found. What other game did you just find? Melee. Oh, you don't want to let me play that game. <laughs> I know. Uh, I will only play Puff against you just to be that guy. Who's Puff? Jigglypuff. Oh! Sorry. Sorry. You, you can tell I've played too much of that game when... I use nomenclature like that. Well, I call it J Puff. JP? No, I would never do Puff like that. <laughs> oh, Blue Eyes. Yeah, I stopped playing that game when I made one of my roommates throw his controller on the ground. Sounds like he needs therapy. Go to therapy, kids. I've heard that's good for people. Well, you don't need to be, you know, psychotic to go to therapy. Oh, I. Mm. I have disagreements about how that played out. Mm. I'm mm. gonna be good at this game again now. Mike, vamp for me. Uh, what does that mean? Vamp. I, I, I need you to, to just kind of take care of the talking and and take up space so that I can focus. Um. So Mario likes butt stuff, huh? As we were talking about earlier, every time he bends over, he literally kisses his ass goodbye. So he must like his butt. No! I know, it's shocking. Oh my god, I'm so upset about that death. Kissed his ass. Excuse me. Oh jeez. Am I dying? The world may never know. I don't know, but it's definitely not the Coca-Cola that's doing that to you. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Coca-Cola, can you swallow one can hole? Can you fit one can completely down your throat? I don't want to. Coward. It's just like the Gushers challenge, man. See how many you can freeze to the back of somebody's head before they notice. What? You know, classic Gushers challenge. No, I thought this was going to be like a chubby bunny with marshmallow scenario or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, when it's too cold outside and you stick your tongue to metal, but instead you lick a gusher and you stick it to the back of somebody's neck and or exposed skin. I don't think there's a thing normal people do to one another. <laughs> You've had very different childhoods, huh? Uh, kids, you should definitely, definitely do that. Only because I it'll, just made it up and it'll get encourage trouble. someone to go to therapy, maybe. <laughs> well, there we, we, we all hope and dream. Woo! That is a level. Alright. Next level features I our like first it. secret exit. Um, again, this is one of those levels that I can kind of just let talk for itself in terms of what the gimmick is. But... What, what's the difference between the giant red circles and the normal red circles? Nothing. Oh. Here's our secret. That Mario can uh, go through tubes? Uh, the tube smashed down with the layer 2 smash. That's pretty cool. Uh, gravity. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of cool. You just feel like a little bit of platforming with these uh, platforms that are just constantly going up. I disagree with that, Dad. <laughs> I disagree. I just do disagree. Mario was like right there and just decided not. Nah. Right. So what are you afraid of? What do you mean, what am I afraid of? Like, in life, like, what's your biggest fear? Uh, probably just, like, not doing enough. You know? 
Like doing enough to be prepared for something or not getting everything done that I want to get done. What about you, man? Mine's drowning. Oh. I've almost drowned three times now, so I feel like it's warranted. Okay. Uh, this is called Tube Sock Palace. Uh, I know the level name had a different name. It's called Tube Sock Palace. Oh. Uh, and this guy on the right here is why. He, he throws us these super stiff tube socks. To be honest, I thought those were boomerangs. Uh, also... You know, that's an opinion. I think they're tube socks. True, but why would tube socks be so stiff? No idea. Oh, I got blocked. So yeah, no, no Kaizo blocks, <laughs> but he does use those wing blocks to simulate the effect, so it's worse because you see it coming. That's great. Uh, they, yeah, this is a uh, Switch Palace, so it's typically a shorter level in Kaizo world. Um, oh, it would have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be. There's some that are pretty long. But generally, most creators will do like kind of shorter things with these. It is kind of neat that you can actually die in a Switch Palace. I would have not imagined that. Well, why wouldn't you make any level crazy hard? No, I just mean because in the like the core game, they never kill you in a Switch Palace. It's just like, here's extra lives and stuff. You know? Yeah. Okay. I like that guy. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm leaving him behind, though. But a real talk here. All right, one more. One those, more. Off. Those throwy guys. Yeah. Super freaking cute, dude. Like actually. Do you like that that block coming out to troll you at the end there? Would that have killed you? Oh yeah, it'll smash against the wall. I thought your ass was the hardest thing in the universe. Uh, yeah, but you know you, you can't help getting smashed. <laughs> So, so yeah, I think I'm finally warmed up. We're, we're playing a little bit better now. Let's go. As the kids say nowadays. Yeah. And, you know, in before tragic death cycle in this level. Uh, so the, the thing here, this is kind of a water level. Um, this level frightens me. Yeah, there's water on both sides, and you kind of got to uh, time your jumps out of the water to, you know, get up and down. And it's, it's cool. Well, the thing that scares me isn't so much the lack of being alive all of a sudden, it's... Oh man, that one was dirty. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty tricky job. It's the sounds, you know, because usually the actual smashy bits kill you. Oh, yeah. Nope, they're your friends here. You have to be actually pretty well timed with them. Well, yeah, but like, th since the sound is still there, it's like, you're gonna die. <laughs> Don't trust the water. <laughs> yep, the water's your friend. A familiar concept that I well know. Yeah, good thing you're not afraid of trying or anything. Yeah, dude. One time, I just, I, I can swim okay, but just certain situations, like I got pulled into a wave pool too far, and the lifeguard kept telling me to stop holding out of the wall and wouldn't stop yelling at me. Super good. And there was a time I fell into an ice fishing hole. Wow, that sounds terrifying. Yeah, I got all the way up to my neck, and then I started siddling, or siddling? Sidling. What, what is that, you know, when you move along the edge or something? Yeah, I think that would be a sidle. I'm not actually sure. Uh, get at us in the comments, tell us the correct pronunciation for that word that Link does sometimes in Wind Waker. Yeah, really. That's literally the only place I know it from, but, um... Yeah, so I got all the way up to my neck, and then started pulling my way out in my wet jeans and snowsuit. Lucky boy. Jesus crap, what the... Well, see, this is why I wanted to make you watch this game. Like, what the... F one shot. Oh, baby. I think I actually died like once. Oh, uh, so if you don't go fast in that room, um, that's a troll to kill you. Bad. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Because like, what will happen is like people will like, stop. Right, here, let's, let's wait for this. They'll like get in the room. They'll stop and go like, "Okay, this seems safe." And then they'll start swimming and then oh, get I know. smashed. That's there. called a sky punch. Yeah, it's hilarious. I, I gave it that name. That's not the real name. I, no, no, no. That's actually the real name. You're correct. That is a thing that people call that. It's a tube sock punch. Yeah, it is a tube sock punch. Um, so this next level, honestly, one of my favorites. So you know what the womps are, right? Um, an onomatopoeia. Uh, sure. They're also the big gray things that like will crash down on Mario if he gets too close to them. So, uh, Just Cook decided, you know what would be fun is what if the Womps could move in all directions? I mean, they can't? They can now. 
Um, so I'm just I'm just a big old fan of this. Uh, this is just like fun raw platforming. Hmm. Yeah, this one seems like a normal level. Yeah, it's almost Until like now. Super Mario Maker even. Not that I've actually played any Mario Maker myself, but really, there's some fun ones. I've heard. Oh man, I goofed. I'm sorry, Kaizo Dad. I'll do better. Well, being an avid Game Grumps fan as I am, because you know, duh. Um, their buddy Ross makes some really good levels. I guess he's like an actual game designer, and he handles like Rubber Ross. Oh, I've I have heard of Rubber Ross World. I haven't. Yeah, apparently he made like 80 plus levels or something, and they're all super difficult, but very well made. I don't know. But yeah, you know, check him out if you like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Gonna... You can go through the little ones? Uh, some of them. It depends. Was that in the original game? <laughs> no. Well, I oh my god, that was the last one, and I died in such a stupid way. Yeah, you died, oh, uh, more... got stabbed on one of those rotting canines. Yeah, more, more time in this level that I, again, adore, so... Uh, yeah, this is where, in my opinion, the game picks up a lot. That's good. I finally finished my Pepsi brand Coke. Yeah, your Pepsi? Your, your the Coke? Poke. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> uh, Pokemon, great game, right? Well, you know, as a franchise, yes. <laughs> Which, apparently, they are now the biggest franchise in the world. First, like, just, like, most selling or something? No, like, if you include video games, merchandise, TV shows... Oh, well, yeah. They are the biggest franchise in the world. That's not too surprising. It's not, but at the same time, it's just, like... They, I don't know, what I'm not gonna was get that? Into that. I'm, that has never happened before. Not to... You died in a brand new way? Yeah, I, like, kissed the very tippy top of that swamp there, I guess. Just a little... Yeah, just, just a little smooch on his top left corner, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get good now. Like, I like this level, but not this much. It's kind of like when you, uh, you eat Captain Crunch and get stabbed in the mouth. Get from messing with pirate. Stabbed in the mouth by Captain Crunch. Why did I assume he's a pirate? That's kind of who Mario. No, Captain Crunch. He's a captain. Oh, I guess there are you know, captains pirate ships. Yeah, but like, what? Why did I go like, oh, captain of a pirate ship? No, man, like, he's a naval officer. Yeah, I was gonna say he's very clearly in uniform. I think there was a time when he was even known as Colonel Crunch, and he actually got promoted. All right, in there. Alright, uh, so this is a boss. I like these dogs. Uh, these blocks here that I'm, like, going on in between they the They switch, eh? They switch anytime you hit the jump button, so you have to use the thwomp to get across. Oh, at least there's rhyme and reason to it. I thought it was just switching. Nope. Uh, one shot? Did I just one shot that? I don't know if ever in a run I've one shot that. Right, so... I'm glad they're dead. Alright, um, so you've been, you've been fascinated with your small pipes, right? Yeah. Uh, how would you like a level based around small pipes? Is it like an organ? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, and I, I think I'm just gonna be good, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this done before, uh, today's episode needs to be over. Ugh. Again, one of my absolute favorite levels in this game. Oh! I love him! Oh yeah, the, the chill sunglasses mole? Yeah, there's, man! There's a couple of them in here, That's my actually. friend! Uh, this one's not your friend. No, but, like, neither are sharks, but they're always smiling. You know? <laughs> yep. Can't remember who said that, but they're like, well, if sharks are so dangerous, how do they make babies? And they're like, very happily, and they're like, well, they're not smiling, you know that, right? The one shot, you love to see it. I'm getting so used to you being good at this that I'm just disappointed when you're not. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, you and me both. <laughs> there you go. And I, I like how, like, if I do bad, you're disappointed in me, but if I do good, it just sets you up to be more disappointed in me. No, I'm just, well, yeah, because it's stop like, being bad. But also, there's a lot of adorable animals in this. Uh, there are. Super Mario World's really great. It's cute. 
Oh, also, I guess it's worth noting, as we go through the game, <laughs> what you're gonna see custom elements from earlier levels come back. So, like, you know, the last level was the, the thwomps with multi-directions. Well, yeah, it's and like any now, good story. You revisit the... Yeah, now, now they're just, like, a regular part of the, uh, the vocabulary the level maker expects you to know and work around. Yeah. I agree. Let's do that. Um, so here's a troll. Uh, he's, you're supposed to freak out and jump, and then you jump up into the spikes, and then here, if you stop and let the swamp land, he crushes you to the left, so you just run under. Oh, so he's an asshole. Yeah, so those those last two levels are absolutely a couple of my favorites, but I think that's all we have time for. Yeah, and then maybe you can tell me what your favorite video game is next time. Uh, yeah, we, we can talk about some of my favorites, sure. Yeah. All right. Un until then, bye, bye forever, everyone. Bye, you beautiful a holes. I, I hope. I hope I love that. You. Yeah. He does too. I, he I, just doesn't know it yet. I'm, I'm, I'm gaining a fondness. I don't know if I would call it a love yet. You know, like what is love? Like, I mean, in Plato's Symposium, I mean, he, he, you see all the characters. How do I not hit you more with tube socks full of batteries? Guys are dead now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You're a maniac. Man, you're a maniac. I don't want to do that. Uh, if you, uh, if you tell anybody that you hear people with, uh, tube socks full of clementine, they can't be able to see anything. Oh, uh, that brutus thing. That's, that's also a thing. You're right.